are kind of the goals for practice? You guys have had a few practices. What are, what's kind of the goals this week and maybe some things you guys worked on during this time off since in between games? Our goals every practice is to go over our mistakes in previous games and not to repeat the same mistakes when the games come. Is there anything in particular that, that you've noticed or, or mistakes that you're seeing that you guys are really? Yeah, we, we're watching the ball too much. We're ball watching, giving up too many offensive rebounds, and we know that can kill kill us, giving the team so many possessions in the game. Uh, Duan, how, how'd you take last game when you know it's happened to other players? You know, not coming, not starting the second half. Uh, how'd you take that, and what was your uh, kind of response to that when you did get in there? I, I knew from the time I missed that that rebound, then I was I wasn't going to start. I know the type of coach Coachell is, and I deserve that. I never should have been ball watching. I'm one of the leaders on the team, and I can't let that happen. How would you? Assess, oh, I'm sorry. Just how would you assess your, your rebounding this season? I, I know you came in high. Little high goals um, with high numbers and rebounding. How, how would you say things have gone? Um, eight games in. So I'm slowly, I'm falling off right now, but I've been watching a lot of film and like working on positioning so I could get my rebounds back up. What was what was your first impression of Chris when you met him? When he came, was it for his recruiting visit, or had you met him before? What was um, kind of your first thought when you saw this five foot six, five foot seven well, player? Well, I've seen his highlights before I actually seen him. Okay. So when I met him, I was like, oh, what's up? Um, I think he was committed here before I was, okay. so I met him on his on a on a visit at the at our rivalry game. I forgot who was playing, but he came down to town and we kicked it there and we talked a lot. So, what was your first impression when you watched him on film, just seeing what he could do at his size? Um, first time I seen him on film actually was he was playing down here in Miami with his team at Miami High. Yo, this little guy's killing it. I was like, oh, I never, I know, I know we had a Chris Lights committed here, but I never actually you seen him play. So when they say, yo, that's Chris Lights, I was like, oh my god, that's a, that's a nice little guy right there. Have you ever had to guard anybody like that? I have to guard him in practice. Yes. <laughs> well, what is take us through that? What is that like for you? Oh, uh, we talked. I talked smack to him because I locked him down a couple times. But yesterday, he hit a deep tray in my face, and then he was talking his smack and then smacked me on the butt. But it's a pretty hard guard, uh, guy to guard. Are you surprised he can get his shot off? You know, at his size and just the kind of the things that he that he does out there. Uh, Chris is quick, so, so you you fall back a second, he could just launch his shot and it's going in. And he creates separations a lot of the time and gets his shots off a lot. Has he dunked in practice? Off all the time. Do you think he's going to throw it out there in a game? Uh, I think he's mostly aware about getting the two points instead of missing the dunk. Your offensive game has come a long way. Uh, this offseason, you know, were you working with anyone in particular? Was it just a lot of hours in the gym yourself? How did, you know, um, both. I worked out with a lot of the guys with the team and by myself a lot. Okay. How many, I mean, I don't know if you can quantify it, but how many hours a day would you spend this offseason just working on offensive stuff? Um, hours a day. Well, when you come in the gym, most of the time you really don't work on defense unless it's like rebounding. Um, so I'll probably say a good six hours out of every day. Wow. How strange has it been? You guys have, I mean, come home obviously for classes and exams and what have you, but it's going to be a month about, you know, before you guys play it here again. How strange has that been? And, and how are you guys kind it's of It's pretty strange because when we come back here, we've got our robbery game against Florida State and we kind of <laughs> owed them from last year. But you know, hopefully we bring out a good crowd when we come back here and play. But I like the idea of Coach L set up to, to go on the road for a whole month to test our team and see how we respond to it. What do you want to see out of that month besides, obviously, you know, victories and you guys playing well? Um, us getting better as a team. Because um, being ranked number six is like a lot of pressure. We got to go out there and show them that we should be ranked number six. So it's a lot of pressure on us now. Even with you guys ranked number six, I mean, how far or close are you guys to your ceiling to actually playing like a team, like you want to play? I mean, are you still a ways well, from We're not that? even close yet, to be honest. Um, the things I think we're capable of doing haven't been shown yet. Do you want your thoughts on George Washington? What, what do you know about them? Uh, what kind of team do they have? I remember we played them last year, but actually you got to get the, uh, the scout now and practice today.